This year we came to CBIN and we decided to try and take you with us. This is our first attempt at getting a film to allow you to see what it's like to go to an IT trade show. CBIN is the premier IT trade show in Germany and it's one of the largest in the world. It has nearly a million square meters and more than 800,000 visitors every year and an increase every year, year on year. Next year it could even be as many as a million. There are 8,000 or 9,000 exhibitors and there are 35 exhibition halls, so you can imagine there's plenty to go around. We're going to be there for two days and we're going to show you some of the excellent stuff we're going to see there. For example, Ericsson's internet radio, Samsung's new web monitor, Palm's M505 with a small review, Nokia's new next generation phones, and AMD's fastest ever chips, including a test run of a 1.5 gigahertz PC. It's rumoured that CBIT sends almost every IT journalist mad, and you're along for the ride now to find out whether it's true or not. Do it right now. modem built in so there are options to include ADSL as well right. on it or I think connectivity so basically you just plug this in plug it in and then you're then surfing away go surfing away a uh, retail price of around 250 pounds so the Nokia 3330 is a uh, broad consumer market model uh, putting mobile internet to the hands of tens of millions of people in the world, i.e. incorporating web. The Nokia 6310 is a model targeted for mobile professionals, incorporating not only GPRS but also high-speed data, web, Bluetooth and sync and mail. The Nokia 8310 uh, model for the fashion conscious people, uh, enabling being GPRS enabled also and incorporating integrated FM radio and then the Nokia music player which can be used separately as a uh, as a player for digital di digitized music or as an uh, hands-free kit together with your mobile phone thank you the beauty of this particular device is you get the uh the full color and you can actually get video and all that good stuff on it too, which is the, the 505. The expansion slot in the back 
which is Secure Digital. And what this allows you to do is add anywhere from 8 megabytes to 128 megabytes of memory. But it also allows you to have content cards such as this, which is a games card. Uh, you just push it in the back, it's spring loaded. And uh, it'll launch the applications that are on it. And you can see a various number of games that have popped up. Yeah. And uh, you just click on it, and it'll run for you. So, yeah. kind of a fun slot machine game. Uh, the other nice feature on this is we've got a new uh, video uh, reader and, and color photograph reader. And uh, you just tap on this. This is uh, an application. You can tap on a photograph, and you can scroll through the photos. These are some animals it's for demonstration purposes. It also has a video player. You can see it actually does live full motion video. At CBIT, there was so much we've had to squeeze the rest in. Sadly, AMD's mobile system didn't look very mobile, but the 1.5 gig test unit looked impressively turned out and quick. Good job no one tried this, though, with the AMD. So many coffee-related incidents at work could be less painful if we had one of these. Less waterproof was Sony's cool new MZ5 phone with matching headphones. But CBIT isn't just about toys, it's also about people. While everyone was gazing at gorgeous gadgets and panting over PDAs, we asked Rachel Lashford, analyst, what might come of all this technology. So Rachel, CBIT, a bit big. I am absolutely astounded by the size of CBIT. I kind of imagined it would be like Birmingham NEC, where it's like about five of those. Mm -hmm. A lot of walking. Do you, do you think that it does do a good job of covering every bit of the technology that comes oh, it out? It certainly does, because anyone who's anyone is, is here, and there's lots of information to be got. So the kind of computer systems that we see here and gadgets at CBIT will become part of our everyday lives? I think they will eventually, especially as you've got people like Nokia introducing mobile phones which have got three capabilities and that sort of thing. And when we're talking about streaming media and people are beginning to see PDAs and mobile phone convers um, convergence. Um, so I think people will begin to use them as, as the really big players that, that they're used to every day, introduce them into the market. Do you think people actually want them? Um, I think the geeks amongst us and the gadgeteers amongst us you know, quite like them, I think. I think your normal, everyday bod on the street, it's all a bit much, and it's all a bit expensive at the moment as well. Mm. Fantastic. All right, thank you very much, Rachel. Okay. Cheers. We're here, hanging over the return. Thank God, we're out of here.